my aunt worked at Rankin Bass Productions for about 10 or 15 years in the 70s and early 80s, and she acquired all of them, and they were the production puppets from Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. Including Rudolph and Santa, we had Yukon Cornelius, Herbie the Misfit Dentist, and a few others, uh, including a sort of reindeer that got melted in our attic, um, thanks to my mom. We used to have them around the Christmas tree growing up, and I'm just used to having them around. So what we have here are the actual original puppets. As far as I know. Mm -hmm. And we can see here they have the articulated legs, mm -hmm. the articulated neck. This is the young Rudolph, yeah. and here's Santa. When you opened the box mm -hmm. and uh, took these fellas out, mm -hmm. it was like I was seeing old friends. Yeah, exactly. As I'm sure it is the case with millions of our viewers, this is a Christmas tradition. Uh, 1964 is when the film was made, and uh, it definitely has a, a warm spot in all of our hearts. Mm -hmm. So to actually meet them in person, <laughs> it's exactly. really exciting. This is iconic, and, and it's, on, it's on a very different level. It's not a toy, and everyone who's seen it has gotten a kick and recognize it instantly. So you're dealing with something magnificent here. It's too bad that uh, Burl Ives melted away, mm -hmm. but you know that's the problem when he's in a hot attic. Exactly. They're made out of cloth and wood and I think some plastics and things like that. They're not in perfect condition. Yeah. The nose has been replaced. Mm -hmm. I guess the bowl broke. Santa's whiskers are uh, missing there, but what an amazing, amazing piece. If I were to estimate it at an auction, mm -hmm. I wouldn't estimate it less than eight to 10,000 for the pair. Mm -hmm. What it would go for at auction, that's anyone's guess. Okay. My mom's gonna love that. 